Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to use the YouTube Copyright Match tool. So YouTube introduced a new rights management tool to help creators protect their content from copyright infringement. This new tool is being rolled out in phases, so you may not have access to it yet. I received this email message from YouTube indicating that I now have access to it and could check it out. If you log into your regular YouTube account, you probably won't find it yet. But if you have access to Studio Beta, you may find it in the copyright section if you're eligible. As you can see, I've got eight of my videos that have been matched providing relevant details. In the first column, you'll find the links to the re-uploaded videos. Next, the total views of the videos. The date it was re-uploaded. The channel name and link, including subscriber count. The copyright tool also detects the match percentage. As you can see, in my case, all of the videos show a 100% match. It also provides three still frames from your video. And finally, in the Actions column, you have three options available. Option 1 is Move to Archive, if you do not want to take any action. Option 2 is Request Video Removal, that is, submit a legal request for YouTube to remove the video. Option 3 is Contact Channel, allowing you to initiate a conversation and alert the channel owner. So for example, if I click on this re-uploaded video link, it's going to redirect me to the video where I can check the video in order to help me take necessary action. In this case, this guy has literally stolen my full video and put his own Arabic voiceover. So if I go back and click on this contact channel option, I can send him a pre-written email message as you can see here. I would enter my email address here and this is the message that would be sent to him. And I would have to click this button to send him the message. I do not want to use this option, so I'm going to choose the Request Video Removal option. You will see this notification bar. Click on Request Video Removal. You will then need to complete the necessary information, which is pretty straightforward. Then scroll down and choose one of these two removal options. The first option allows you to send them a seven day notice and avoid a copyright strike. And the second option allows you to request an immediate removal after the request is validated by YouTube. So I'm going to choose the second option. Next, you need to check these three boxes to legally agree. And finally, sign your legal name in this box. You will receive an email notification from YouTube. And if you go back to the dashboard, you will see that it's no longer there. But if you go to the Removal Request tab, you'll see the status of the removal requests. This one was removed pretty quickly. And if I go back to the re-uploaded video link, you can see that the video has indeed been removed. So I'm going to take the same action and submit removal requests for the rest of these videos. So I'm all done submitting my removal requests. And if I go back to the removal requests tab, it shows me the status of the removal requests. I was really impressed with YouTube because they acted very quickly. Well, hope you found this video helpful. You can check my YouTube channel for more helpful videos. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. And thanks for watching.